It looks early, but it's not. Damn coronavirus taking our sunlight away. What is up guys, my name is Mark Semrail. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Vlog. We're sitting at a Starbucks right now. We are actually heading out to a swap meet. It's about an hour away from my house. It looked super dark outside when we left the house, but it is not that early. It's only about seven o'clock. Oh, I think my drink's ready. <sighs> All right. Free coffee vlogs are not easy. For the curious minds, I got a white chocolate mocha, five shots of espresso. I needed that five shots. Yes, it's like an eight dollar drink, but they use my points, my Starbucks points. Anyways, we're heading out to Lone Star RC Hobbies. If you guys watched the last few the last few swap meet vlogs, you might realize or notice that Lone Star RC Hobbies they're really based on a lot of like crawler and scaler stuff. So a lot of bashing stuff, not too much racing stuff. So we should see some cool bashing stuff out there, scaler crawler stuff. I did do a vlog where a guy had some really cool rat rods. Maybe we'll see some cool rat rods out there. I don't know. I don't know what we'll see out there, but after the after the swap meet, they have a, what they call a tri RC day, and they essentially what they do is they let people drive their RC cars, and they have ramps in the middle of the parking lot, things like that. We're gonna see how that is. Hopefully, they run it. It is raining. They said if weather permits, I think the swap meet will go rain or shine. I don't know about the tri RC day, but nonetheless, we're gonna finish this coffee or not finish it. We're start drinking this coffee. I'm gonna do some research, and then I am going to head out to the bank, pick up some money. You need cash at these swap meets, money talks, and then we're gonna head out there, see what it's like. All right, guys. Oh, really quick. Um, what I'm looking for at this swap meet, I'm not looking for anything. Honestly, I can't handle any more projects at the moment. My project backup is a little, it's a little crazy. We're still working, still working on the EB48 2.0, but that will be ready for my next race. We'll just, we'll see what's out there. I thought about trying to find some, maybe some TQI radios for my boys. I don't know. We'll see. All right, we made it here pretty early. Let's see what we got. They're all lined up under here because it looks like it's, <laughs> usually they're out there, but it's raining this time. Oh, look at that, Max. That Max has got all the metal stuff on it. That's pretty cool. Check out those drive shafts. Look like carbon fiber drive shafts or something. That's pretty sweet. Boats, some crawlers. Some fist scale stuff down there. Oh, check this out. How's it going, guys? Ooh, those are some nice tires. Those are some tires. I actually like those a lot for the uh, Revo. Yeah, those are from the Revo. They're sliding. Yep. And then the cool thing about that is you can put the uh, beadlock little rim things on there. Makes them look really good. I like those. Ooh, that's a super sweet body. Looks like it's already got the light kit on it. It doesn't? Oh, it just has the, uh, <laughs> the lenses. Ready for it? All right, let's see what we got over here. Got a cool crawler there. Oh, it's on It's on stands here. Bill, how are you, sir? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm Thanks doing well, sir. Down. Thanks, man. Good little drag bike. Those funny cars, so there was a rumor that Traxxas was continuing making those funny cars, but they would only do it like a couple times a year. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, that looks like a uh, Savage. Looks like a Slash buggy. The body there. Some plain stuff. Super big boat. It's like a gas boat. Sorry guys, I'm vlogging and holding my coffee at the same time. Look at these. Look at these gigantic tires, but it looks like they have 50 millimeter hexes on them. Tires, a mini e Revo with some some mud bogger tires on it. That's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. There's a uh, an e Revo with uh, Proline Badlands on it. A little mini Losi there. Some granite. Uh oh, we got another vlogger over there. What's up, man? Hey Mike, how are you, sir? Oh, toilet! Look, we're selling toilet paper. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. See what's in there. You got hand sanitizer in there too? Oh yeah. See, here at Lone Star Hobbies, they don't run out of toilet paper or hand sanitizer. Oh, we—I think we saw that 
that grave digger at that last yes, swap. Sir. Right over here. Oh look, another funny car. That's a whole bunch of stuff. Very nice. Look at this old Tonka truck. That's actually pretty cool. I'm digging that old Tonka truck. Oh look. Oh, that's probably four. That's entire. I got toilet paper. I'm ready. Ooh, VXL8, 8S. We got over here. Looks the trailer for the uh, mini slash. Let's go around to the side side. Some cool stuff I found here. Check this out. I found that grave digger body. So it looks like it's a new bright grave digger, <laughs> grave digger body, but if you can find those, the Traxxas grave digger body, those things are going for like 250 bucks on the internet. Um, I don't think that's the one, but the reason why they get so expensive is because they lose licensing privileges from Monster Jam or Grave Digger, and they become limited and rare, so that's why they get become so expensive. That's pretty cool. That fit your X01? <laughs> it probably would. That would look good on Next Max, a monster. Yeah. Let me go over here. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. A whole bunch of. Oh, look, a Creighton. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to get a Creighton. I can't do that to my boys at Traxxas. Look. It's getting real over here with the. Uh, <laughs> the wrestling action figures. Oh, look at the trailer back there. Hold on, I'll take a look. Let's look at that trailer here in a second. A whole bunch of stuff. Oh. I just made a boo boo. I just kicked the remote. I'm that guy. Dang it. You ready to run? That's actually a pretty clean slash. All right, check this thing out. That trailer is legit. It's got slide out ramps? Yeah, it's the RC four wheel drive. The jack works. Let's see, he's got slide out ramps. He says RC four wheel drive, all the stuff works on it. Oh man, that's pretty sick. Yeah, the jack screws up and down. Of course, it's got the light kit in it. That is super cool. Man, that's pretty sweet. How do you how do you connect it? Uh, you use like an associated ball. Oh, I see, I see. Next slide back. Oh, super cool. <laughs> what do you want for it? They got to take hundred four for it just to get it out of here. I keep buying these lots and can't get out of them. <laughs> 140, you said? 125? 100 and a quarter. I think it's 220. He wants 100 and a quarter for it. Alright, we're going to go through a little bit more and then we're going to come back and figure out what we want. Let's keep going. <laughs> Cash talks, he said. See, I told you. I actually said that while I was sitting at a. Uh, Starbucks, you gotta get cash, because cash talks. Oh, I'll take PayPal too, baby. <laughs> that white, uh, there's a part of me that kind of wants another TRX4, one that I can beat the hell out of, but I want it to be a sport. I have one, but it's brand new. Little tracks. 